All right, all that prep work is done. Now it's time to get Pam to use LDAP. So Pam is the uh, pluggable, pluggable authentication uh, module, right, in Linux, and that is what manages login and authentication for our Linux machines. Um, what we want Pam to do is not only use the local accounts that are in our shadow password suite, uh, you know, in that password file and the shadow file with their with their passwords. We also want it to be able to use LDAP. So if a user tries to log in, we want it first to check local accounts and then second to go and try logging in with LDAP, right? So if they're not a local account, it'll try to log them in using LDAP. And by the way, if that LDAP is really Active Directory, that means essentially users could log into our Linux machines using their Active Directory credentials. So this is a way to integrate Active Directory logon. That's really what I want to demonstrate is this interoperability between these different platforms, right? This sort of crossroads between Windows and Linux. So first step is we have to edit the, uh, the pam.d config file. So we're going to open that up. And if you look in here, we're going to need to add a line. Um, and it should be, uh, there should be a line here to, I'm going to scroll this down. So we're going to append a line right here. And here we're going to add another auth where it's going to say if local authentication didn't work, it's going to try and see if I can paste it in here. So if local authentication didn't work, um, it's going to try using LDAP, right? Um, and I think there's actually already a line for this up here, right? So it's already checking up here. So you may already have this line up here. If that's the case, then we don't need to actually add this line. So we are going to go ahead and delete this line if you already have that one. So let me just go ahead and do that. Um, so again, in your file, let me scroll down here. I'm going to delete. Actually, I don't really have to do that. I'm just going to quit without saving. But notice that second auth line has the, uh, the same thing that I just added. So I don't really need to add this. Uh, it's going to try to um, authenticate users. So, so when we when we installed these packages, it automatically added LDAP in here. So hopefully yours will work the same way. You won't have to do anything in here, but uh, but at least you know how to do this if it wasn't there. All right. So the next step is now we know Pam is configured to use LDAP. Uh, we also want to. So when a new user logs in for the first time. Um, usually they get a home directory, right? So if we look in uh, slash home, you can see I, I have two user directories. I've got Brian underscore green, which is my Google account I used to log in. Uh, and then I also have student, which is my local account that I used to log in. And both of them have a home directory. The first time you log in, it creates that home directory for you. Um, the other thing that Linux can do is, if you look, there's this uh, directory called Etsy Scale. And you can see mine is empty. There's nothing in my Etsy skill. But the first time you log in, it can go into that. It's short for skeleton. It takes that skeleton directory and it creates the home directory from that. So you can have all kinds of default directories and files and settings and things. Anything you want somebody to have by default when their account first is created or they first log in, uh, it'll pull it from there. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to create a skill directory. That way we can see this working. Um, so first, I'm going to create a bunch of directories. Uh, and you can see now if I oops, look at scale, now it's got a bunch of directories. So if somebody tries to log in um, the first time, they're going to get some directories. The next thing is I want to uh, put some content in there. So I'm just going to put a little text file in here so that uh, they have a text file you know, in their home directory. I'm also going to edit the. I'm going to create or edit the uh, bash RC. So bash RC is basically your defaults. Um, so that's going to set the command prompt color and you know what's in that command prompt and so forth, right? So customize that a little bit. Uh, we'll also add a profile, right? These are all just kind of basic things that usually users would want. Uh, then I got to make sure I set the permissions on all these files. So we learn about permissions in this unit. But I'm going to go ahead and set those permissions. So that'll set the permissions for all the files and folders in here by default when somebody logs in. And then finally, we want to test and make sure that all this stuff is created. So I'm going to take a look here. 
there we go. So we know that all the stuff exists here. It has the right permissions. And uh, so all of this stuff that's in Skell is gonna get basically sucked in and used to create that user's home directory when they first log in. But we also have to configure it to use this uh, Skell file the first time they log in if it's using LDAP. So we're gonna open up that config file and in here, it looks like we do have to add this line, uh, the make home directory. So by default, it's gonna make that home directory when an account is created, but not when they try to log in. And the first time with LDAP, we never create their account, they just log in. So we have to add something in here that's going to, um, uh, that's gonna create that scale directory if our user account just happened to log in the first time and they don't already have it created. So let me copy and paste the line here. There we go, so that's what's gonna point it to that scale directory. So it automatically creates everything. It's gonna have a U-mask that sets everything to the right permissions. And we'll save that. Uh, now that we've done that, we should be able to restart our services. You know, we always have to restart the services after we make these kinds of changes. All right, so we've restarted the services. Actually, let me make sure, because I think it, I didn't restart that first one. All right, and now we're ready to start testing this and see if it actually works.